Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I miss you. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Yo, la neta, estoy... Estoy media cansada porque que creen ayer se me enfermó la bendición. Goofy started coughing like crazy out of nowhere. Y hace unos días lo acabábamos de llevar al dog park. So what a coincidence. I think he got kennel cough at the dog park. Porque se nos olvidó su platito que le llevamos. Hay uno que tenemos que se dobla para que tome agua y se nos olvidó. Así que tomó agua de donde todos los perritos toman agua. I was up all night like a mama luchona, just keeping my eye on him and he would cough and I would just stare at him. Thankfully, he is doing so much better today. Y le estoy haciendo tipo remedios caseros. I'm like in señora mode right now, dude. I'm like making everything hecho a mano, like a remedio casero. <laughs> Now he's just coughing a little bit, but hopefully he gets even better. All right, guys, so today I am going to be doing my makeup, of course. No me voy a quedar así. I'm gonna go from this to this. And meanwhile, I do my makeup. I'm going to be reading scary stories that you guys sent me. Remember, if you have a scary story that you would like to share with me so I can share with the world, feel free to comment it down below or you can always DM me on Instagram. So if you're gonna get ready, let's get ready together. If you're gonna eat, grab your snacks. If you're just gonna chill or whatever you're gonna do, get ready because these stories are gonna be good. I'm gonna start priming my face with my Benefit Pore Fessional Primer. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared right now because I am home alone. Adan, he went to go gig, so... So if you are alone watching this, comment below because I want to know. I want to know that I'm not the only one alone in this. Las dos nos hacemos compañía. Hi, Erica. I love you and your IDGAF attitude. I never miss your YouTube videos. So here goes my scary story. Hope it makes it to the scary episodes. Aw, thank you so much and I love you too. So when I was a mocosa in high school, I was out partying with my friend late, late at night. This was like 15 years ago. Of course, it was a flyer party. My friend borrowed her tío's car so we could get to the party. We were peleoneras and my friend ended up getting into it with another girl at the party. Cops were called so we had to leave ASAP. As we tried leaving, her tío's car would not start. My friend was carrying both of our phones in a small purse while at the party, which she accidentally ended up leaving behind during the whole commotion. So we were phoneless and didn't know what to do. We noticed this black car kept passing by us a few times. The car got close to us and the driver was this guy. He asked if we needed a ride and we really didn't want to, but it was our only way to get back home. This guy was dangerous looking. He was bald, gangster looking, and had tattoos all around his head, arms, and up to his neck. We lived a bit far from the party, so we had to take the freeway and it was the scariest 20 minutes of our lives. Not knowing if he had bad intentions or if he was actually going to take us home. Me trying to make it a less awkward moment, I started having a conversation with him and found out he was actually a tattoo artist. He was really nice and said we shouldn't be worried. He even invited us to go over his shop to get work done. We finally got home and the guy, his name was Manny, short for Manuel, gave me his number to keep in touch about our tattoo session. Over the next few days, we kept texting back and forth. And finally, the day came. I was having a hard time finding the shop so I got on the phone with Manny. He kept telling me, I'm right in front by the sidewalk wearing a blue shirt. I still didn't see anyone, but I found the location and made it to the shop. As I arrived, I was greeted by a lady. 
I asked for Manny, told her he was waiting for me and would be getting work done by him. She looked at me with a confused face and called her brother to the front as he was inside waiting on a client. She then said, Esta muchachita que anda buscando al Manny. And they both looked at each other with a confused expression. I then told her, yeah, I was just on the phone with him. Then they took a long, hard look at me and said, Mija, Manny is dead. He's been dead. He died years ago. I thought she was joking. I could not believe it. I told her that couldn't be true because I had been talking to him over the phone. She then asked me to call him from my phone. The craziest thing was that at that moment, my call would not go through. The line was even disconnected and I couldn't text that number anymore. I was in shock. She asked me to describe him and proceeded by asking me if he was driving a black car. I said yes, but wondered how did she know that. She then pulls out a photo album and there he was, Manny, the guy who gave us a ride that night. Turns out this lady was Manny's sister and told me that I wasn't the first or second person to come by to the shop with the same story. She said the tattoo shop was their family business and they had been struggling for some time. Manny, working his magic from heaven, had been sending them over clientele and their shop had been able to survive and remain in business. I never heard again from Manny. We literally had a ghost ride. Till this day, my friend and I cannot believe this happened to us. I've heard stories like this in Mexico, but never would imagine it happening here in LA. Hope you enjoyed my story. To be honest, I'm speechless. I cannot believe that happened to you in LA. The fact that he was texting you. Do you still have the messages? Because I would love to see them. I feel like that's so interesting. And it makes so much sense that he was trying to help his family since they were struggling. That's so sad. Oh my God. I feel like that's a heartfelt story. And it's true. Like you said, esas historias se escuchan mucho en México or in like places that are in the middle of nowhere. But in a big city like LA, I feel like that's crazy. That's like La Llorona haunting LA. It's just something that you would think would never happen. And I'm just wondering now, does that mean that the car was a ghost car? I would be so confused. Like, did that even happen? Like, obviously it did. But dude, I would be so confused. That's crazy so i work in healthcare and i was coming out of a patient's room i saw a lady walking down the hall where i work there's a long hall that takes us to our break room and restroom i see her coming down but i don't pay much attention because i'm holding several tests that i did on a patient we literally crossed paths and I stopped so she could go by. She looked at me and said, excuse me. So I let her pass. I started doing what I needed to do until I asked my coworker, what patient did you room in the back rooms? She's like, nobody is over there. So I literally start going through our charts to see who it could have been. To my surprise, there was nobody that looked like her that had checked in that day. I asked the doctor if she remembers seeing a patient that matched the description I said, and she said no. Girl, I know what I saw, and it was a blonde lady, but I was the only one who saw her. So the next day, it was three other people and myself getting ready to open the clinic. The lab tech guy walks in and is looking around acting strange, but didn't say anything. So then he goes up to me, the lab guy, and asks, Hey, who is that blonde lady that was walking out when I was walking in? I tell him that we were all in the front when he walked in. He kept telling me he saw a blonde lady. 
so I told him I saw the same lady that day before. I could tell he was feeling some sort of way about the situation porque agarró su café y se fue, lol. The manager came in and I asked her to check the cameras y nada de una blonde lady. I don't know what we saw, but I feel better that I wasn't the only one that saw her. I hope you get to share my story. Have a great day. I'm really curious to know if anyone else has seen that lady. O de a tiro nomás era tú y the lab guy. Loki, that's so funny that the guy se fue en chinga. He was like, amonos. Estoy mirando la foto del maquillaje and she brings the black shadow to her lid. And if this shit looks like shit, ni modo. <laughs> I'm going to be using this palette y voy a usar la sombra morada because I want it to match my shirt. Dude, aren't my shirts so cute? Too bad que cuando las hice salieron unas bien pinches feas y la compañía valió madre. Like they didn't want to fix them. Pero también, I have this palette que tiene muchos colores pasteles. I'm gonna go with this one and I just wet the purple. I'm tapping it in. After so much blending, I feel like that looks pretty good. Hey girl, I have a lot of scary stories, but these two are the scariest ones. A few years ago, my tia would watch a little boy at her house basically 24-7 for months at a time. During summertime, my tia, tío, and the little boy would sleep in the living room because the apartment's AC was in the living room only. One day, the little boy woke up in the middle of the night and told my tia there was a very tall man he saw in the hallway in all black clothing with long skinny legs and arms. He basically was describing Slender Man. My tia told him it was probably just a bad dream and to not be scared. A few days later, he told my tia the same thing. The man was back, but this time he had kids with him. He said they were all holding hands, and one of the kids tried to grab his hand and was saying, come with us. I'd like to add, this little boy was around four at the time and had no clue who Slender Man was. My older sister lived with them at the time and was coming home one day late at night after hanging out with friends. She walked in and headed to the kitchen to go get water and was going back to go to her room. She had the kitchen light on and when she looked up, she saw the same man. The little boy had described seeing a few days prior in the hallway. She said he was tall and skinny with very long arms that hit to his knees. He had a suit on and had all black eyes and no mouth. She froze in fear and stared at it for a few seconds in shock. The man kept staring at her with like a sinister grin. She started praying immediately and like the savage she is, she closed her eyes while praying and walked past him. He was standing in the hallway next to her bedroom. She said she had shivers when she walked past him and she quickly shut the door and was scared for days. A few days later, my best friend and I wanted to investigate it, so we spent the night in the living room. I was honestly scared the whole time, but luckily fell asleep. The next morning, my friend said he saw him. No mames. He said he was terrified but didn't want to wake me up and scare me, so he stayed awake all night. After a few months, no one saw him anymore. When the little boy went back home to his mom, I ended up moving into that same apartment years later with my husband and baby. Bad idea. I never saw him in the hallway, but the doors would close by themselves in the bathroom. One day, I was home alone with my baby late at night while my hubby was working. I went into our bedroom down the hall, and when I turned on the light, I saw a similar figure crawling by my bed. And once he noticed I was there, it crawled under my bed. Shut the fuck up. 
Oh my god, this is crazy. I was still standing by the door holding my baby. As soon as I saw it, I turned the light on. I was so scared. I literally ran outside with my baby and called my husband to come home. We ended up moving out a few months after. Now we know the little boy wasn't lying. I will save the other story for another time since this was a long one. I hope you see this and I love watching your videos. I'm not gonna lie, I'm fucking scared right now. Dude, what the fuck was that crawling under your bed? <coughs> Gracias. And by the way, girl, please feel free to send over other stories that you have because that story is crazy so i would love to hear the other one i'm adding some purple now to my inner corner it's like in the inner corner and in your lid too just a little bit i'm not gonna lie bro i'm fucking scared of going in my room now and seeing a fucking skinny ass viejo crawl under my bed i know dude i'm fucking scared times like these i am so glad that i have goofy porque si hay un pinche viejo abajo de la cama I'm going to add eyeliner to my inner corner now. Creo que me hice mi delineador de mi inner corner a little too thick, but I kind of feel like Ari Gameplays. I don't know, I kind of like it. Hi Erica, I've been watching you since 2018. Thank you. I love your videos. I wanted to share my story. When I was about five or six years old, my mom would take me to a park behind a cemetery. I remember going to play inside of the slide, like the ones that are round and closed. I remember playing with little kids. But the weird thing is, there was never any parents around the park. I never seen the kids faces either, but I remember I would chase those kids and they would chase me, but not only inside of the slides. And two to three months ago, I asked my mom about this and she confirmed that there were no parents, nor did she see any kids. I believe I was playing with ghost slash spirit children. Girl, when you said something about the slides that are closed, I couldn't help but think about that one story of a kid. I don't remember if he was at Chuck E. Cheese or at McDonald's, but it was a playground como de esos de niños. Y en una foto salió una cara, una cara bien pinche culera. Do you know what I'm talking about? Because that picture or video, it scared the fuck out of me, dude. And well, a lot of people do say that kids and dogs could see ghosts or anything that's not human. Thankfully for me, yo nunca vi ni madres. And I do believe that's true because kids and dogs son angelitos. That's why they're my favorite thing in the world. I just went in with my Peripera lip liner in the shade Milky Brown. And then I'm gonna go in with my Frankie Rose lipstick. All right, guys, so this is the final look. What do we think? I went ahead and added some gems and some earrings para que no me mire muy simplona. Thank you guys again for sending over your scary stories. And again, if you want to send me a scary story, feel free to comment it down below or you can always DM me on Instagram. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notification so you can get notified for the next time I post. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!